time for Willis, the word master, to come in and uh, teach us correct pronunciations of the Queen's language. Willis, good evening. I saw that you're doing well. Can you confirm that? <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Betty. I'm doing fine. Great. And from the look of things, things are very good in Nairobi <laughs> with that great musician. Yeah. You know, that is a wonderful talent, Betty. Mm. And he deserves, as I always say, a pat on the back. All right, for sure he does. He's, he's great. Willis, I want us to get straight into our word on the street. Let's just hear what Kenyans said this time round. Said, said, this time round, said. Misirinias, misirinias, misirinias. Misirinias, misirinias, misirinias. Misirinias, misirinias, misirinias. Misirinias, misirinias, misirinias. Misirinias, misirinias. Misirinias, misirinias, misirinias. Misirinias. Miscellaneous. 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 All right, so Willis always says, says not to laugh at people, but, you know, so we'll keep it that way tonight. Willis, let me bring you in. So how do we pronounce this word? It's quite mouthful. So how do we go about it? <laughs> Betty, in the first place, you know, the great cameraman in Kisumu, Nicholas Mburu, is back. And while listening to the way people are pronouncing that word, he is telling me not to forget the other word, genre. Genre. That is uh, to do with music. <laughs> Many people talk of Gina, Jenna, Jonah, but it's genre. Raw. Genre. But now, on to the street. Yeah. We say miscellaneous miscellaneous okay. many people find themselves as saying miscellaneous yeah miscellaneous 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 and all that but the accurate or correct pronunciation betty is miscellaneous miscellaneous so honestly even that word has given me trouble before when it comes to pronouncing, so I'm happy that you've tackled it tonight, Willis. Thank you for that. <laughs> Willis, let's move on You're to welcome, this. Betty. And I hope I said the word says correctly, because I remember last time we, we had a very big um, lesson with regard to the word say, said, says. Well, learning has no full stop, Betty. Yeah. So in this case... <laughs> We have to remember that we have the verb say, yeah. then you go to says, says, says yeah. not says, that is the present simple tense form, right. then you come to said, said, said. that okay. is for past tense and uh -huh. past participle, yeah. say, mm. says, said. said. All right, so, so, so at least I learned something last, uh, last Friday, Willis. Thanks for that. Moving on to this other word, I'll spell it out uh, because I'm not sure when it comes to pronunciation. So, S-O-B-R-I-Q-U-E-T. Sobri I don't even want to try. I don't even want to try, Willis. Yeah, there, there we have it on our screens. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. That is the other word for nickname. Mm -hmm. You say... Sobriquet. Okay. Sobriquet. Sobriquet. What we should avoid is sobriquet. Uh -huh. You say sobriquet. Sobriquet. Not sobriquet. Uh -huh. Not sobriquet. So <laughs> the way you've said it, sobriquet. Sobriquet. Okay, sobriquet. Got it, Willis. Moving on to this other word, P L A S M A. Is it plasma? Plasma? Which is which, Willis? You say. Plasma. Plas plasma. That okay. S takes mm. the voiced sound Z. So you say plasma. But Betty, mm -hmm. apart from this word, we should remember that we say asthma oh. and asthma as alternatives, not okay. asthma. Okay. A S T H uh -huh. M A. Uh -huh. That T and H. Mm -hmm. You uh -huh. elide over them. You don't pronounce elide. T and H. You say Asthma or asthma. As but the word asthma. you asked about, uh -huh. you say plasma. Then plasma. The other word we have is miasma uh -huh. or miasma. Okay. Miasma or mm. miasma. Well, it's okay. So asthma or 
asthma, but not asthma. Yes. Asthma. Right. Got it, Willis. That Got sound it. or the voice sound, the, you should not use it. Okay. You say asthma uh -huh. or asthma. Even asthma is like a surprise, Willis, because I'm used to asthma. So we can have the other pronunciation as asthma. Is that right, yeah? When you use asthma, uh -huh. Betty, to be more clear about yes. this, when you come to the American you know, pronunciation of that word, uh -huh. you'll find asthma. But it's also acceptable as an alternative or okay. asthma. All right. Just like we have tissue, TCU, which is <laughs> a surprise to many people. Yeah. Issue and ECU. So yeah. alternatives, we should also be aware of them so that when somebody, you know, sometimes uh, I advise people to avoid laughing at others because you may hear somebody pronouncing a word or an English mm. word in one way, then different from what you know, then you start laughing only to realize that the person is using one of the alternatives. Yeah. Like when somebody talks about tissue, that's normal or common locally, but if we talk about TCU, or if we use TCU, you would realize somebody would say what? Or ECU, <laughs> yeah. what? But yeah. <laughs> ECU and issue, TCU and tissue, <laughs> are alternative pronunciations of the two words. Ah, really? So that TC word, I know we've talked about it before here, but it, I've never wrapped my head around that word. But anyway, like you said, it's another way of it pronouncing. Happens. It happens. Yeah. Tissue. Press me the tissue. Somebody will be like, what are you talking yes. about? Okay, Willis, moving on to this other word. R-O-W, row, row. Um, I know it has two, pronounce, two definitions, so how do we go about both definitions? And is it definitions or definitions while we're at it? Defini definitions. Okay. Definitions. Definitions. Okay. Now, Betty, when we have R-O-Ws mm -hmm. to refer to a conflict or a dispute, uh -huh. like when we have a land dispute, you talk of row. Row. When okay. we have row. a dispute or conflict over leadership, uh -huh. you also say row, a political row. row. Leadership or leadership row. You mm -hmm. don't say yeah. leadership row. Mm. Political row. Mm -hmm. Land row. That would sound vague. Mm. In that row. case, you say row, R O W. Mm. But when you are talking about an arrangement, mm -hmm. like when you have seats, in a hall or a class. Yes. Or when you are moving or you talk about to move the boat, you row, to row the boat. Okay. We just got a row it. in class. Uh -huh. So we should understand such words, we call them heteronyms, or in grammar you can talk of homographs. All right. Words which are spelled the same way, but pronounced differently with different meanings. Mm. Row, conflict, and row. I mean, row is for conflict, mm -hmm. row, but for arrangement or mm. moving the boat, you mm -hmm. say row. row. Just like to bow for a prayer, uh -huh. you bow, B-O-W. Yes. Bow. But when you talk about the weapon for shooting the arrows, you now say bow. Bow. Bow okay. for shooting arrows. Okay. I hope we'll you now get it clearly. Completely, 150%, Willis. Moving on to this other word. <laughs> <laughs> Do we say meticulous? Um, there could be a surprise. Meticulous. Educators, Willis, which is which? No. The okay. way you said it in the first place. Okay. Meticulous. Me meticulous. Meticulous. With a stress on the second syllable. Mm -hmm. But Betty, we can use this word also to advise those who love accurate or acceptable pronunciations uh -huh. to avoid saying ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, okay. There is no English word as ridiculous. We say ridi ridiculous. In fact, ridiculous. the spelling is R-I, not R-E. Ridiculous, okay. but we have meticulous. What we should avoid is saying ridiculous. That <laughs> is wrong. It's wrong, Willis. It's ridiculous. All right, Willis. Moving on to ridiculous. this. Ridiculous. Yes. So this other one, I'll spell it out. H-A-E-M-O-P-H-I-L-I-A. -A. Um, have you gotten it? Hemophilia. Hemophilia. H-A-E. Mm. Yeah. M-O-P-H-I-L-I-A. Yeah. Hemophilia. Hemophilia. Now, what we should remember is the spelling of this word, when we talk of H 
A E. That is the British spelling. Mm. You may realize that we also have H E M O P H I L I A. That is now the American spelling, but both American spelling mm -hmm. and the British spelling mm -hmm. are pronounced he hemophilia. What we should avoid is hemophilia okay. or hemophilia. So you will say it's... he hemophilia. All right. So when it comes to hemo, do you say hemoglobin then? Not hemoglobin. Yeah. Hemoglobin. 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 Don't say hemoglobin. <laughs> Don't say hemoglobin. Okay. But remember, Betty, we talk of hemorrhage. Hemorrhage, hemorrhage. not hemorrhage. Okay. Yes. Hemorrhage. hemorrhage. But you have hemophilia, mm -hmm. hemoglobin. Okay. So these are some of the confusing aspects of what we call now the irregularities in orthography, that is spelling and phonology pronunciation of English. A bit tricky because you may find like a word like now horse, mm. farasi, horse. <laughs> horse. Then when you come to was, you don't say was, you say was. But the only difference is H and W. Yes. So Betty, such aspects are very important for us, especially in careers of serious communication, to understand <laughs> that you don't pronounce English words the way we pronounce Kiswahili words. Yeah. That if we see pa, it's strictly pa, P double mm. A. Pa. Yes, Got we it. have to be careful. We Got have to it. understand yeah. the phonology of a language. Okay, Willis. We, we have to be extremely careful, Willis, especially if, um, yes. those of us in uh, careers of serious communication, like you say. Okay, Willis, we'll have to move on to the uh, feedback question. This one is coming from Deborah Sankale in Kajiado. Thank you, Deborah. She's asking about this word as... Some would call it paparazzi, paparazzi. Which is which, Willis? Well, Betty, the pronunciation is paparazzi. 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 Many people talk of paparazzi. Mm. So Debra Sankale of Kajiado and our viewers, you say paparazzi. Now, paparazzi. when you have the singular form, uh -huh. you talk of paparazzo, not paparazzo. Paparazzo. Oh, paparazzo. So the double Z uh -huh. in those words takes the sounding tss, just like in the word pizza. Okay. You don't say pizza. You say pizza. Okay. Paparazzi. Paparazzi. Not paparazzi. Paparazzi. Thank then you. Then straight for to that. if you allow me, yeah. Matthews Kimeo, mm -hmm. you say pliers. Pliers, not plies. That tool is pliers. That is pliers. P L I E R S. Many people talk of plies. Plies, but Matthews Kimeo and our viewers, you say pliers. Pliers. Godensha Mwangi of Nyeri, you say sachet, not sachet. <laughs> that T is not pronounced. S A C H E T. Sachet. You go to the shop or the kiosk and you talk of Omo Sachet. Avoid that sachet. Okay. Say Sa sachet. 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 Godensha right. Mwangi, there you are. Dennis Otachi Alfred. This is one man who really loves this program, but we also thank you, our dear brother. Mm. Dennis Otachi Alfred, you say chauffeur, a chauffeur. Don't say chaufa, <laughs> don't say chofa, say show, chauffeur. That digraph chauffa. CH takes the oh. sound sh, just like in the word chef. Collins Mutiso, you say jinx, jinx. To break the jinx, then you say incantation, incantation. Mary Adiambo of Kisumu, you say decisive. Betty, many people talk of decisive. Mm. I hope you've heard that. Yeah. Decisive. We have decide, then you go to decisive. Decisive. That adjective is decisive. Decisive. And then we have divisive, not divisive. Oh. Many people talk of divisive politics. Okay. Divisive, no. Divisive. divisive. That's a surprise. Then, yes, divisive, not divisive. Okay. Then we have, from Kampala, we have Mokisa Julius. You say, restorata, restorata. You mm. have ta at the end or the terminal part of that word. Somebody, I don't know whether this is a name. Somebody uh -huh. uses the name boutique and asking about Goliath and Pharaoh. Uh -huh. Don't say Goliath. Oh, say Goliath. Goliath. And don't say Pharaoh. 
the pharaohs like when you're talking about the egyptian mm. team you say mm. the pharaohs pharaoh pharaohs then patrick amenga siro and zipora bosibori i think uh, there is another teacher here maureen who is also asking about the word county, county. don't say county <laughs> county government no oh, okay county government county. then we have country country then patrick aminga siro you also say mayor and then the adjective is mayoral not mm. mayoral 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 not mayoral the way many people say it so aminga siro and this must be also a politician from the look of things i don't know but aminga <laughs> siro patrick you say mayor mayoral all right county but country then betty we have the surprise word for mm. tonight many talk about malt. malt malt from what we see but the correct or acceptable pronunciation of this word betty is malt, malt. it has the long vowel sound o malt malt and from the transcription that have put down there that is the ipa international phonetic alphabet mm -hmm. those are symbols are used malt. there if you understand them you'll realize it's malt right. malt not malt and betty we have cases where we have you know what we call now the regular aspects of phonology from orthography also in that case if i may use that explanation wow. for easy understanding we have the word halt uh -huh. not halt 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 malt and salt so if you talk about malt if you say malt you are like somebody talking about salt, salt and salt mm -hmm. so halt malt and salt <laughs> betty <it. laughs> the cameraman in kisumu <laughs> is nodding his head yeah me Buru too. nicholas uh, you have to get it right <laughs> he was talking about genre, genre. Which many people talk of gina jena Jonah, genre that is when we talk about music mm. betty we have the confusing words some people talk of financial woes and that sounds vague mm. financial woes, woes or financial problems yes. you don't say woes yeah. that is the word that we have there w o e s you say woes woes, woes not woes no, yes financial not woes then when we have w double o s or w o o s uh -huh. you say woes woes such and such a party woes supporters okay. from the verb woe All so right. woes the upper word the word below is woes and that is about keeping it english and keeping it english saying it in terms of let english be english <laughs> Let's English be English, Willis. Completely, 100%, I agree with you, Willis. Thank you so much for the lesson tonight. I've loved the words tonight, including the, re the reminder that, you know, we can say tissue and we can also say tissue among all these other words. Tissue and tissue. Issue and tissue. tissue. Yeah. And issue. issue. Okay. Some may sound, you know, surprising, yeah. but once we do some research, we would realize that that is the way they should be. All right, Willis. Thank you so much. Remember that you can always catch Willis on his Twitter handle at Willis Ching One. Um, interact with him, or you can also just choose to wait for Friday briefing, and then you can get something from our interaction here in studio and in Kisumu. Willis, the word master there, teaching us the correct pronunciations, including tissue or tissue. <laughs> All right. So we'll see you, Willis, next um, next Friday. Yeah, till then, have a great weekend. All right, so that was uh, Mind Your Language with Willis the Word Master. We want to now have our conversation with the two gentlemen, Nick Odiambo and uh, Shafi Weru. They're already here with me in studio, but we'll take a short breather and then we come back to start our conversation. You don't want to miss True Story coming up in a few minutes.